they chose this very important young lady whom she had been traveling around the world. This young lady graduated College of Malaysia in 2010. Professional certificate in social innovation from Harvard University. Served as the president, president advocate on climate change. He knows speaker at the United Nations high level political world. Founder of Island Pride Micronesia. Currently serves as the national coordinator for new prosperity libraries. Please welcome Yolanda Tua Tua Mon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Workshop. 
shop. Now, for those of you who know me, you know what a big nerd and a big fan girl and how much I love President Obama. Good old Elton. Um, so I spent weeks on this application. I got the best references and I wrote the essay of my life and I was confident I would get in. A few weeks later, I received my rejection letter saying that I couldn't get it. So I was like, okay. and I applied again, this time competing against thousands of other applicants, so my chances of getting in were a lot smaller this time. But it was worth it, so I took my shot. Long story short, not only did I get in as the only person selected from the FSM, but out of hundreds, I was selected with just two others to personally sit down with President Obama and have a conversation with himself. And then I was in love all over again. Uh, I have, have countless examples of this, of being rejected, of getting declined, and feeling like I failed. Here's the thing though, and I want you to remember this. Do not fear failure, but please do be terrified of regret. So take your shot. Number three, no matter where you go, take your roots with you. They make you stronger. I've been blessed with the opportunity to meet a lot of people from all over the world. I've met presidents, heads of the United Nations, royalty from Europe, billionaires, and famous actors. But hands down, the most impressive and wisest person I have ever met in my life is a third grade dropout. A third grade dropout has been a simple farmer their entire life. This person is my grandma. When I was 20 and got started in community organizing, the first meetings that I would host for the women and youth in my village were at my grandmother's house because I couldn't afford to get a venue like a restaurant or a conference. After a while, these groups got organized and elected their own officers, and I would help facilitate the meetings um, still at my grandmother's house. This went on for months, and I got my first real job. The meetings would still happen at my grandmother's house. One day after a long day work of work and being really stressed, I got home and one meeting was finishing, but they left the knocks or the oof, a big mess, and we needed to get ready for the next meeting. And I got mad and I picked up the broom and I started cleaning and complaining at the same time. This isn't my job, I shouldn't be doing this, why am I the one cleaning up? Blah, 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 blah. My grandmother looks at me and says, Yolanda, if cleaning is beneath you, then leadership is above you. If you're going to do something, do it because you care about it. Do it from the heart, and if you're going to complain about it, then don't do it. It's not genuine. I'll always remember that. If cleaning is beneath you, then leadership is above you. So find your broom, and don't be afraid to use it. You see, we all have these gifts and these lessons that have been rooted into us from our families and communities that raised us. Whether it be this kind of wisdom from your grandparents, or the resilience of your mothers, or the loyalty of your brothers and sisters, all of us are made stronger by the roots that we've gotten from our family. So whatever those are, take them with you everywhere. Which brings me to my next tip, number four. If you can, travel when the pandemic is over, of course. Go somewhere new, at least once. If you can, go somewhere new. It can be for college, or an internship, or some kind of youth training program, or just to visit family, anything, just to travel. Go somewhere new, explore, discover, and crave new experiences. You will never gain new perspective if you always stay in the same place. You see, when you travel, you literally leave your comfort zone, and that's good practice for your mind, that we all need because growth only happens outside of your comfort zone. I promise you that the most rewarding learning and experiences will always be born from the moments that made you the most uncomfortable, and made you the most nervous, and made you the most afraid, but then you did it anyway. So when you can, I want you to leave Go get some life, go get some experience, go get uncomfortable and grow, and then most importantly, come back.
which brings me to my last tip, number five. Chuk needs you. This isn't so much of a tip, it's more of a plea and a reality that I want all of us to recognize. We have a long way to go. As a young country and as a state, we're still building ourselves from the ground up. And as a young nation, we can't afford to keep losing our most valuable assets. You, our people. So please, while I encourage you to leave, at the same time I'm begging that when you're ready, come back to your roots. No one else is going to love our islands and want to see our islands thrive more than us. No one else owes our islands anything more than us. It's up to us. We keep looking around and seeing things that we wish were better. We wish our roads were better. We wish our schools were better. We wish our hospitals were better. And the list goes on and on. So who are we waiting for? It's us. Always has been, always will be. So remember from tip number one, everyone has the capacity to lead and have an impact. You don't need a special title to do something special for you. Remember tip number two, if it's worth it, you take your shot. No one else is going to take it for you and what could be more worth it than our own. Remember tip number three, those same roots that built you need to be reciprocated and passed on. So tip number four, go out and grow, but most importantly, please come back and let's build you up together in whatever way that you can, because if we don't, then we will. Again, thank you so much for having me. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you so much.